Okay, so I'm gonna switch up the straps a bit here because when I made the bag before, what I noticed was that there weren't any strap adjusters. And, you know, some people like their bags longer, some like them shorter, yada, yada. So I'm gonna try to add adjusters, which is why I added these at the bottom because that was a big part of the snafu the last time I made this bag was that the straps themselves came directly out of the bottom and I just couldn't get it to work um, like in my head. So I'm gonna try it this way. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my side connectors, like my strap connectors here. I'm gonna do it like this. So first of all, I'm gonna snap, well, I'm gonna get my rivets ready first. And then I need to get my marking pen, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to mark out my holes on here first. I have a sneaky suspicion that this side is gonna be a pain in the arse to clip and to rivet. So we're gonna start there. Now my strap connectors are not the same size as the pattern called for because I'm a pain in the butt that way. So I'm gonna move mine up higher and not use the marking template that Lens includes in the pattern. Okay, those guys. Hopefully these are dry enough. They've been sitting for a while. Okay. Careful not to snap through your zipper tape. Probably could have gone a little bit lower to make this a little easier on myself, but we're here now. See if we can make this work. I might want to use these big boy rivets. posts are a lot longer on them. So let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, there's one. And two. All right, so this side is gonna get a strap adjuster. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just trying to get, there we go, the post through all the layers. Okay, 
Okay, got that one. And so now this other side, I'm gonna do a square or rectangle ring rather. And if it's, if it works out the way I think it will, this should be okay. Well, we're about to find out together. Now, you a little ribbit. Play nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, stinker. rivet these guys in before they keep popping. Oh, that one already did, of course. Oh, I'll come back to that one. God, bless you, Mark. This was supposed to be the easy side. Gosh, what a pain. Okay, now for the straps.
This one is gonna go down through here and back up and through. And then it needs to go up and back this way. So I'm just gonna clip this until I'm sure this is gonna work. And then this one will go down through here and back up and through. And then here and then here. Here we go, okay, that works. And then, like that. Okay, yay, it worked, hell yeah. Okay, so let me show you, just real quick again what I did. So, the strap, you put it through the middle bar like a normal adjustable strap, and then you're gonna loop it down, so come this way with the tail, come through to the outside, loop it back up and through, and then you go here on the outside of the strap anchor, and then you loop it through the top of this rectangle ring here. And then on this side, you do the same thing with your strap, so connect it to the middle bar from the inside to the out, bring it up, and then you put it through the middle here, because this is just a D ring, or rectangle ring there's no bar so put it through there and then you're going to wrap it to the bottom of the slide here so now i just need to rivet everything into place well that's so exciting that it worked first time i knew there had to be a way to do this but i racked my brain last time and just couldn't really figure it out. And it was a gift, so I had to get it out the door ASAP. Excuse me. But this one is going to Fabric Funhouse to be on display at their quilt market um, vending table tent thingy. So I knew that I had a little bit of time to play with the idea before getting it out to them. So this is exciting. I'll definitely be incorporating this into all of them that I make from here on out. Everybody loves an adjustable bag.
So I think like once it settles in, especially on a hot day because the wax canvas will be nice and warm, is it'll take that shape, that slouchy shape. Like so. And then, it can also be that. Then if you want it to be a cross body, you have so much more length because it's adjustable that now it can also be a cross body bag instead of just a shoulder bag backpack. Yay. All right, friends, if you are seeing this, then that means that you have made it to the end of the video. Um, Whitney and I would like to say thank you for watching all the way through. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. I will do my very best to answer them. And uh, until next time, I hope that you are happy and healthy and, uh, you know, just slaying. Have a good day. Bye guys.